Hi, Mr. Field Tactics here. I'm here in Minneapolis, St. Paul. We're indoors because it's March here and it's cold, it's snowy and rainy outside. So we're indoors here. I'm going to explain the game Field Tactics. But first of all, I'm going to explain key terms and concepts, and that's what this video is about right now. Uh, our, our combo sets, they're Field Tactics Croquet combo sets. They come with the classic game Croquet and then our game Field Tactics. So you get two games in one. For Croquet, the balls are numbered, so you play by numbered balls, not colored balls. So if you're, instead of being a yellow ball, you'd be the one ball. And then uh, we also have the wickets, we have mallets, we have pegs, everything you need for Croquet, including the instructions. But I'm going to talk about some key terms and concepts on field tactics. Field tactics is uh, a game of strategy. The object of the game is to capture all three of your opponent's balls. So there's two teams that can compete against each other. Uh, there's the red team and the black team. Each team has three balls, and the object is to capture all three of your opponent's balls. During the game, we use measurements, and we use the mallet for measurements. A mallet length is, is simply a mallet length, and the head length is the head length of the mallet. So we use these terms during the, during the game and in the instructions, so that's what it refers to. You use your mallet for these measurements. Each uh, set comes with boundary ropes, and field tactics is played on a, a, what's called a playing field, and it's formed by, the, by these boundary ropes. It's a 40 by 35 foot playing area, and you get four ropes to stake that out. Now the 35 foot ropes come with red markings so you can distinguish between the 40 foot and the 30 foot, 35 foot ropes. And then there's also a uh, red marking in the middle of the 35 foot rope, which I'll explain uh, in a minute why that is. As I mentioned, the 35 foot rope has the red marking in the middle, and that's used to form your home base and your prison during the game. You need to uh, form your home base at the start of the game. So each, each team uh, makes their home base, and we'll demonstrate that here. If we can just shoot down here. As you can see, we use the mallet to measure and form the home base. You, you put the mallet at the red marking, you rotate it on its axis, and you form the top of the triangle, which is your home base. And then you use the other two balls to form the base of the triangle, and you want it to be approximately the same width apart. Okay, that was how you uh, form your home base. Now we'll talk about forming your prison. During the game, as I mentioned, you have to capture the other opponent's balls. When you capture a ball, you put their ball in prison. So say the black team captures one of the uh, red team's balls, we'll pan over, and you'll see that you form the prison again off the red mark on the 35 foot rope, you put your mallet down for measurement, and you place the red ball that was captured in prison. Now as you see, the prison holds two balls, and that's because when you capture the third ball, the game's over. So you really only need to have two balls in prison. The last concept I'm going to talk about is the trench. It's a four foot area which encircles the entire playing field. It's an inner perimeter of the entire playing field. And we'll, we'll show you how you measure it off. Again, it's 48 inches or four feet. The inner trench and it's only used during a capture shot. So right now we'll show you a ball inside the trench. Okay, that ball is inside the trench, now a uh, ball outside the trench. That ball is considered outside the trench. And you only have to, to use this trench during a capture shot. Now about the trench, you don't have to use that measuring roll unless you, you're not sure if it's in the trench. I mean, obviously, a ball a foot away from the rope is inside the trench. So you only use that rope when there's a discrepancy about whether it's in or out. So this ends our concept, key concepts and term, terms video. And uh, I want you then to watch our how to play video.